Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be discussing my skincare favorites for the year uh, 2018. We are a few days into 2019, um, but I have been feeling a little bit under the weather, which you may be able to hear on my voice. I have been sick for maybe like two to three days already. I have a ton of skincare products sitting right in front of me. Um, but before we begin with the video, I do want to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to also add me on all of your other social media platforms. I will link my handles down below. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I make a brand new upload. So yeah, um, I am gonna try to keep this background. I feel like it was just getting way too busy back there. Um, so hopefully you guys dig it. So hopefully we can just breeze right on through these. I will just try to discuss um, how I use these products why I like it and if I have achieved any results from using these. I do also want to start in order of application, kind of, sort of. We will be starting with uh, Pharmacy's Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm with Echinacea Green Envy. This is the second tub of this uh, balm that I have used and this is essentially my first cleanse whenever I do wear um, a full face of makeup. I find that this works for me um, no matter if we are in spring, summer, fall, or winter. This is kind of like a year-round product for me. I feel like it's not too heavy like an oil or a cleansing oil where I would just want to reach for that during winter. I just feel like this is perfect. Um, it really helps to just kind of melt away the day's face and prep the skin for the rest of my routine. Um, this is non-drying, non-stripping, non-irritating to the skin as well. So this is uh, my favorite kind of first cleanser of 2018. For my second cleanse, uh, my favorite cleanser for 2018 was a Pharmacy's Clean Bee. This is the Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. This promises to polish or to remove surface oil, impurities, pollution, residue, and makeup while nourishing your skin. This has honey and hyaluronic acid. Uh, my favorite part of this, um, aside from the fact that it comes in a pump and it's clear so you can see how much product you have left, is the fact that it lathers up nicely and it removes everything without drying or stripping my skin. I do have um, another cleanser as well that um, was part of my 2017 skincare favorites and it is the Drunk Elephant Best Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. And this is a mini. I did purchase the full size when it first released uh, last year, 20, 2017, 2018, 2017, whatever. Um, so I did purchase the full size and I used that all up. Um, and I really love this. This one also lathers up really nicely and it is non-stripping, non-drying. Same as the Pharmacy Cleanser, I can get away with using both of these morning and evening, after a workout, after walking the dog, whenever. And, you know, I'll have no issues whatsoever. This is a, a recent favorite, um, but this is the PCA Gentle Exfoliant. And this was reformulated to be a little bit more eco-friendly. So it has, I think it's a wood pulp. And it also has a hyaluronic acid. And this is a very, very gentle exfoliant. It has a very light, refreshing scent as it does have a lavender oil. But I have been using this at least one to two times a week as um, an exfoliating cleanser. And I feel like it is not abrasive and it is non-drying. It just kind of polishes away any surface debris or impurities for me. And what I like is that it's quite thick um, and it lathers up 
nicely. Very recent favorite. Now on to toners. This should come as no surprise. This has been a favorite of mine since the beginning of time. Uh, this is the Murad Hydrating Toner. I love this. This is alcohol free. It has cucumber, grapeseed extracts. Uh, this helps to just lock in moisture and refresh my skin after a shower. Sometimes I will use this before masking, after masking. I just love this product so, so much. Um, I do appreciate the packaging as well here. It comes in a spray form and this is gentle enough for the eye area. I do not use this with a cotton round. And it is just refreshing, revitalizing to the skin. It is a lightweight. It smells amazing. And I feel like it just makes my skin uh, smooth and supple and plump just ready for what's to come. Um, now on to serums. I did a video on this and this is my second bottle, but this is the Murad Revite Elixir Recovery Serum. This re-energizes, smooths stress lines, and renews vibrancy. So you do see the spheres and the actual serum here. As you pump, you do get three to four spheres all over the skin. It has indigo, niacinamide, um, I think it has hyaluronic acid as well as paracress and I think it has can cannabis sativa oil, something like that. But I loved using this product. As far as serums go, this is one of the thicker ones that I do have in my collection. I feel like it is definitely hydrating and smoothing to the skin. It gives uh, my skin a healthy luminosity. Um, and I really enjoyed using this product in 2018. This is the serum that I am wearing underneath all. Oh of the makeup today. This is one of my favorites. I feel like it really did a lot for my forehead area, which is uh, an area of concern for me at least. Another serum that I enjoyed using in 2018 was the Drunk Elephant TLC Frambu's Glycolic Serum. And I recently did a video on this because I took a break from this when I started using uh, Apollo's Choice Retinol product that you will see later on in the video. Um, so I I took a break from this and then when I revisited the product, I remembered how much I loved this. This has high potency AHAs and BHAs in there um, that will lift away any dead cellular debris and this just improves overall uh, the tone and texture of your skin. Every time I wake up after using this product overnight, I feel like my skin just has a healthy luminous glow. My forehead looks amazing and I just I really really love this product. This is my second or third bottle um, but I just recently emptied out another unit. Another favorite. I think this was in my 2017 favorites as well so it's a repeat. And then I do have the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. This is the AHA Resurfacing Night Serum with hydrating honey and gentle flower extracts. I love the packaging in this kind of like that frosted glass and then you get the pump here. I feel like compared to this little guy, this is a little bit more gentle and a little bit more hydrating. If you want like incredible results overnight, this will be your guy. But if you're looking for a gentle AHA, this is your guy. Um, I think I will be filming a video on this so um, maybe stay tuned for that. I'm not quite sure yet. I think I want to do like a review video, but I have been enjoying this lately, so that's why I included it in this video. When I, uh, I guess, wake up, my skin again feels refreshed, rejuvenated, and smoother. I've been loving this in 2018. Now moving on to eyes. Um, I do have just two products and my favorite eye serum for 2018 was the Murad Retinol Renewal Eye Serum. This is a repeat again from 2017. This just does amazing things for my under eye area overnight. Um, I feel like when I use this, my eye area is firmer. Um, I don't 
suffer from puffiness and it is definitely brighter beneath there um so i really love the results that i have been getting from this this was a 20 2018 release but this is the c tango multivitamin eye cream by drunk elephant this uh brightens it has peptides and it has five forms of vitamin c and this promises to um strengthen and firm the eye area. This is my go-to uh, for a nighttime eye cream. A little goes a long way with this guy. I was actually uh, pretty surprised when I emptied it out just recently. Um, so I, I repurchased it because I didn't know I was running out. That's one of the things I don't like about Drunk Elephant's packaging, which you've heard me talk about before. But I, I love this eye cream a lot. It is a lightweight. Um, I feel like it doesn't create milia around my eye area. It's lightweight. It's definitely bright, brightening, hydrating. I do love this. So it was my favorite for 2018 as far as eye creams. Now let's talk about a category that's new. I didn't make this category uh, last year. Uh, but these are boosters. So these are kind of things that you add on to your uh, serum or your moisturizer to, you know, give you more results. Um, this was another 2018 release by Drunk Elephant. This is the D-Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum. And this you can use anywhere along the body. It's not just for your face. You can use it on your legs or on your decollete, wherever you feel like you need some bronzing. I am wearing this um, beneath my makeup. I mixed it with my uh, sunscreen. And this contains peptides and cocoa. And I typically like to either mix this with my serum or I will mix this with, you know, a sunscreen. And it just gives my skin a healthy, luminous glow. Sometimes I will mix this with my sunscreen uh, when I am bare-faced so that I can get a bronzier look to the skin. And then I have two Paula's Choice boosters here. So when I took a break from using my TLC Framboos, I was using the Paula's Choice 1% Retinol Booster, which did amazing things for my forehead area. I did experience some very minimal flaking or sensitivity here along the chin and cheeks from this, um, but then I would mix it with the Paula's Choice Hyaluronic Acid Booster to provide the skin with some hydration and some redness relief which hyaluronic acid can do for the skin so these two were a great mix for me or for my skin this year so sometimes i would just layer this uh, along the forehead alone and then i would mix these two here along the lower portion of the face sometimes when i needed a little bit more hydration i would mix these two as well daytime or nighttime and they worked beautifully so whenever um these Paula's Choice boosters are an excellent way for you to still you know use up your other serums but add a little like an extra shot of hydration or you know a retinol which will either brighten or improve the tone and texture of your skin these two Paula's Choice boosters were two of my favorites for 2018. Let's chat about sunscreen. Um, I do have a repeat from 2017. This is the Murad Environmental Shield City Skin Age Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 50 PA++++. This is my favorite uh, for spring and summer. It is lightweight. Um, it protects against UVA, UVB pollution, blue light from devices, and infrared radiation. And this has a peach tint to it. I'm almost out of this too. So you can see the peach tint to it. This is also a great primer for makeup application. So sometimes when I use this, this sunscreen, I don't even use a primer for makeup. But that is what you're left with. Just, you know, smooth, protected skin. It just doesn't even feel like I'm wearing a sunscreen. 
And then this is a new favorite. Uh, this is the Pharmacy Green Screen Daily Environmental Protector with Echinacea Green Envy. So this has 2.7% um, titanium dioxide and 10% zinc oxide, whereas the Pharmacy has 2.4% titanium dioxide and 5.82% zinc oxide. If I'm comparing these two, this is a little bit heavier than the Murad one. The Murad does have that peach tint so it color corrects as well. This doesn't offer any color correcting. That is what that looks like and that is the sunscreen I am wearing beneath my makeup today and I mixed it with my deep bronzy. Um, unlike the Murad City Skin, this I can get away with wearing year round. Um, I feel like it gives my normal skin just the right amount of hydration or moisture at any time of year, whereas this doesn't give me a lot of hydration or moisture during uh, fall and winter. But I can still wear it if I layer it underneath another moisturizer. And this um, I took it everywhere this year. I took it out for dog walks, for long hikes. I took it, I think I took it to Coachella and I may have taken it up to Mammoth as well. Um, so this was with me every step of the way in 2018. For just moisturizers, I do have two favorites that I loved in 2018. I couldn't just narrow it down to one. I'm sorry, I couldn't. But these are two items that were at least in 2018. So I do have the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream and I do have the Murad Nutrient Charged Water Gel. I love this so much that it's empty already. Um, there's like literally nothing that's going to come out. Oh my gosh. From here. Oh, I didn't know that you could do that. Oops. This is kind of a gel cream kind of moisturizer. It promises to strengthen. So you have signal peptides, growth factors, supportive amino acids, and pygmy water lily for visible and immediate improvement in the appearance of skin's tone, texture, and firmness. And this is an oil-free gel type of moisturizer. It will increase the skin's moisture retention for up to five days. So it has five minerals, five peptides, and five vitamins that will plump and strengthen the skin. I feel like this moisturizer brought my skin back to life after I experienced that little bout of redness and irritation from the YSL foundation. This did wonders for my skin, oh my god. So this is um, the second unit that I am working through. I might order this again, I'm not sure. I do have a ton of moisturizers that I need to get through. And if there's anything that I've learned in 2017 and 2018 is that I need to just stop buying a lot of things and work through what I have. So that's one resolution sneaked into the middle of the video. But these definitely were my favorite moisturizers of 2018. Um, sometimes I'd just use these at night depending on the season. Sometimes I'd layer this underneath my sunscreen, again, depending on the season, depending on how dry or dehydrated my skin um, was at that point in time. So these worked very well uh, with other ranges, with other products, and mixed in with other moisturizers. Unlike the two that I just mentioned, this I just use strictly at night when my skin is incredibly dehydrated and dry and flaky because of some of the products that I have been testing recently. But this is the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Cream. This promises to also strengthen and really nourish the skin. That is what that looks like. And this is definitely a richer moisturizer. And that is what the skin looks like after applying it. Sometimes I will just apply that to my cheeks or my chin if I'm flaky around that area. But I've really been loving what that does to my skin. It just leaves it nice and supple and 
deeply moisturized and nourished. I feel like if you are maybe going through some sensitivity or if you live in drier, colder climate, this is a good moisturizer for you. And now let's move on to oils. I do have two. Um, this is the Murad Multivitamin Infusion Oil. I love this. This has a uh, powered by six vitamins, A through F, that will target against the signs of aging, boost hydration, brighten skin, and defend it from free radical damage. This just leaves the skin with a very healthy luminosity. Um, this is a treatment oil, so you want to layer this underneath your moisturizer or your sunscreen. Um, but you can use it after your moisturizer if you like. I feel like every time I use this, my skin wakes up glowy, smoother, and softer, and plumper. Um, sometimes I will just use this on the face, or sometimes I will just use this here along the decollete since I do have quite a bit of sun damage in that area. But I use about four to five drops. I do have normal skin. Um, I do use this on my clients, and if they have drier, dehydrated skin, I will use the seven drops, which is the maximum that you are supposed to use with this oil. Um, I do like the packaging. It's in a glass, and you do get a dropper, so you can easily just kind of manage how many drops of this oil you apply over the skin. And then my second favorite oil uh, was the Paula's Choice Moisture Renewal Oil. This contains ceramides and argan oil. You can use this Again, just like the Murad oil on the face and neck, or you can use it on the decollete as well. If you do use this during the day, you definitely want to follow it with a sunscreen, the same as the Murad one. This little guy has more of like a dry oil kind of velvety finish to it, whereas this is more of like an oil. This does come in a dropper form as well. And this I actually took to Mammoth uh, during uh, late fall and it really helped my skin a lot while we were up there. I'll just show you guys what this looks like. Just one drop. And that is what the skin looks like with that. This oil, I feel like I can get away with using any time of year. It can be summer and I can still go ahead and use this. Um, during the summertime, I think I would use these three and worked really nicely on my skin. Uh, this is, a, again, another kind of new release, but I have really been enjoying what this has been doing for my skin recently. Um, this is the Drunk Elephant Apasiani Retinol Cream, and I am still kind of testing this product out but I already know that it's a favorite. This has 1% vegan retinol with nourishing superfood rich ingredients to dramatically diminish the appearance of fine lines, deep wrinkles, and sun damage, revealing a vibrant, younger looking complexion. I will do a video on this uh, soon. Uh, since I received this product, I have been alternating between these two. So one night I will use this, next night I will use that. One night I will use this, and then another night I will use that. So I will talk more about it in that video, but I have been loving the results from this product. So make sure you stay tuned for a review on this little guy. But for now, just know that it was a favorite of 2018's Talk Lips. This is the Dennis Gross Hyaluronic Marine Collagen Lip Fusion. Um, I got this via Influencer, and I've really been enjoying this. I feel like for a lip treatment, it just feels really nice on the skin. I feel like maybe my lips are smoother, maybe my lips are plumper. I don't know. I really like using this at night. It hydrates this, the lip area, um, and it just kind of feels a little different than anything else I've ever used on my lips. So you want to always apply this above and around the lip border not just the lip area, to kind of smooth away the lines. And I've really been enjoying this. I love to pair this with my Laneige 
lip sleeping mask. I just love this so much. I went from using a mini that I got in a Sephora play box to buying the full size. I don't know if I'll ever get through this, but maybe I will. Especially right now that I'm sick. I have this by my bedside and I just put it on to um, help my lips from not chapping. So these were my two favorite lip kind of treatment and lip balm products for 2018. Now on to masks. I do have the Ula Enriksen Cold Plunge Pore Mask. This was my go-to for summer. I feel like it really helped to manage oils for me. I do tend to get a little oily here along the tea during summer. I also love the color of this mask. Um, so this contains um, AHAs to kind of smooth, control oils, and minimize any redness and sensitivity that I experienced throughout the summer. Another mask that was my favorite was the Pharmacy Bright On Massage Activated Vitamin C Mask with Echinacea Green Envy. This is my go-to mask um, whenever I use a sheet mask. So I mask with this first to kind of absorb all of the oils and gently exfoliate the skin and then I go in with a sheet mask and my, the results are just amazing. So this promises to brighten and detox skin by removing buildup and impurities to visibly improve skin texture and tone. So I love this. I also love that it just kind of changes colors once it's dry. So it goes from like this purple to like this green. And I like the packaging as well. I do like masks that come in a tube. That way you don't have to dip your hands or look for a spatula. I typically love just like hydrating and nourishing masks, but I'm surprised that I love these so much. These I used a lot during the year. And then for sheet masks, um, I love just sheet masks. This was the last one I used, but this is the Dr. Jart Soothing Hydra Solution. This really helped to revive my skin yesterday. Oh my god, I was looking like a hot mess. Um, but it really just brought some hydration and some redness relief, and it just really helped to soothe my skin. Um, I haven't been drinking a lot of water and the heater's on all day, so my skin is like zapped. It's so dry and dehydrated, so that really helped. Um, and I also love the Dr. Jart Ceramiden Cream Mask or Ceramiden Mask that they uh, recently reformulated. Love that one as well. And then I do have the Erno Laszlo Multitask Eye Serum Masks. These are my go-to for uh, special occasions. These contain algae extract, vitamin B3, and allantoin to deliver immediate results under the eye area. So um, these will instantly uh, depuff and revitalize my eye area. I like to use them for special occasions. I'll just plop them on for about 10-15 minutes, remove them, and voila. I have kind of a random favorite, but this is the Pharmacy Honey Savior. This is the all-in-one skin repair salve. Um, this is kind of one of those products that I didn't think I need, that I didn't think, or that I didn't know I needed. I work with my hands a lot, and this just really soothes and smooths my hands. Um, I do, or I have been using this on my hands this winter, um, and on my knees and on my elbows and it just really nourishes, moisturizes, and smooths them. So this is kind of like a random favorite. Alright, so those were my favorites for 2018. Um, I do apologize if I, if I coughed a little too much or if I look like a mess. I'm just really sick, but I really wanted to film this video for you all since today is essentially my filming day and I didn't want to call out sick for that. <laughs> so yeah, sorry about, you know, the lack of excitement here on this video. I am just
I'm just sick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your favorite skincare products for the year 2018 were in the comments down below. Do let me know if we share any favorites as well. Um, I do like to know whether or not, you know, we're vibing or we're not vibing. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I make a brand new upload. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.